Hello, 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 everyone. Let's see who's going to join us since we're live. Ah, there it is. I found it. Okay, we're just going to share it at our groups here quick. And create a part. There we go. All right. We are officially live. I have Tucker here to say hello to everyone. Say hi, Tucker. Say hello, everyone. Yeah, Tucker was thinking that he needed more attention. So here he is. So he came to get all his extra lovings from all the peoples who want to see him. He's being all sleepy-eyed. Hello, Miss Betty. Hello, Sherry. Hello, Sue. So glad to see you ladies come join us. Like he said, Tucker's being all lonely. He thinks all the attention should be on him. Yes, we know. Say hello to everybody. They want to see your cute little face. Come here. Everybody's cute little face. Well, <laughs> well, you only want me to see your cute face? I don't think so. Everybody should see that cute little face. See that face right there? There it is. All right. Tucker's going to go find a place to take a nap now. Go on. <laughs> okay. Hello, hello, hello. Hello, Arlene. So glad to see you join in. All right. Let's see, I'm gonna switch over. We're gonna get right into our housekeeping items quick before we get into, he is adorable. He's my little buddy. He's definitely my dog. Of course, he's my husband's dog on other dimes too, so. But anyway. So, Paper Pumpkin, we are now into the November kit. We got our October kit. Mine actually arrived the other day. I haven't got it put together yet, but it is here. Um, so, now we're working on getting our November kits. You have from now until November 10th to get in on that one. And that is going to be another Christmas kit. This one's going to have enough supplies to make 12 tags for each of three designs, and it is going to coordinate with the October kit. Um, so they are gonna to go together. Plus there's gonna be the opportunity to get in on these cute little paper sacks um, for treat giving for the holidays. Um, just use that little code there on your phone and it'll take you right to um, the spot to order those cute little bags. And they are really adorable. They're kind of like, a crumb cake and gingham um and again that'll work really well with the tags um and you'll be able to do some really cute gift giving with that hey deb yeah sherry they do get spoiled rotten that's for sure um fitting florets this is a new suite of product that was introduced to demonstrators this month november 1st will be available to customers um, it is pretty cool, sweet. Um, the bundle does have some ovals. There's two stamp sets during the pre-order period. Um, the Christmas set does go away after November 30th, as well as the designer series paper and these gold elements. Um, the bundle will be in the upcoming spring catalog. Um, So hopefully, um, oh, I completely lost my train of thought there. I don't even know where I was going with that. But anyways, this is available November 1st to customers. I don't know. I just got distracted and totally lost my train of thought. I hate when that happens. The Christmas gifting kit. This kit is, again, Christmas tags. It is still available. I did check. That is part of our kits collection as well as the birthday card organizer kit. This is a really cool kit. I've got mine again, got to get mine put together. I planned on doing it this weekend, but 
other priorities kind of took over for the weekend. But um, anyway, I do have mine and I am looking forward to getting it put together so that I can get organized with my birthday cards. I'm going to actually be on time going forward from here on out. Okay, tonight's projects. We are featuring, oh, you know what? I put my paper away. I was going to show you up the whole 12 by 12 because I have, I'm on my second package of this um, specialty vellum. But we're using the 12 by 12 specialty vellum. Um, it is called the Snowflake 12 by 12 specialty vellum and the Hope and Peace stamp set. These are not bundled. They just have to be tucked away in the catalog on page 40. Um, easy to miss this paper for sure because it is over here in the corner, but this vellum is absolutely gorgeous. Um, you have the flocked as well as the iridescent foiled snowflakes. And there's some also polka dot type pattern in the poke in the flocking as well as the iridescent and then of course there's this here stamp set that actually worked perfectly with this set even though they don't go together per se they do work right together so i did feature them in this week's projects and i shall show you what we're making so card number one we used this flocked snowflake and we have this pretty card in Tempting Turquoise. Then, of course, gotta love that starry sky with Christmas cards. We did this one here with the iridescent snowflake with the iridescent polka dot pattern. And that's a fun fold here that says Merry Christmas. And then... Last but not least, we're doing another one of those fun folds. Hey, Kate, glad to see you join in. And this one is, again, that iridescent snowflake vellum and that created a card base. And we did it that way. Emmanuel, God with us. I thought that was so beautiful. And that was a beautiful sentiment for a very beautiful foiled card. Okay, so we're going to start with our attempt, or not attempt, oh my God. Did anybody realize what I just did? I like totally did a throwback on tempting turquoise. This is not tempting turquoise. This is Tahitian Tide. Tempting turquoise no longer exists in our lineup. So I apologize for that misspeak. So Tahitian Tide is our color. Well, thank you, Nancy. Thank you, Sue. I'm so glad you like them and Arlene. All right. So we have our Tahitian Tide card base. That's eight and a half by five and a half scored at four and a quarter. We're going to go ahead and fold that on our score line and burnish that down. Then I have a piece of that beautiful flocked vellum, and I've already got that cut to four inches by five and a quarter, and that's going to layer on here. Now, the one thing about vellum is you do have to be careful with your adhesive um, so that it doesn't show through. I will say because of the amount of flocking on here, it's not a huge issue with this particular vellum. However, to make sure we don't have an issue, I did, what did I do with it? I thought I had it cut. <laughs> I did not. All right, I did have, or so I thought I did have, some adhesive sheets cut. Now I'm gonna go ahead and bring this piece out. And what we're going to do is we're just going to cut this down to just a little bit less than five and a quarter. So let's move that. So five and a quarter would be there. There we go. 
All right. And that's just going to lay. It's also helpful to just take your phone folder and make sure that's adhered down well. And then we can peel these backings off. And you're never going to see that adhesive. And there you can see, there is no adhesive to be seen in that background. All right, so we can get rid of all these little scraps here. All right, I do have another piece of basic white, five and a quarter by four, and that's for our inside. Oh, this vellum is gorgeous, Nancy. I do agree. Ah, good. I'm glad I was able to give you a good tip, okay? All right. So there's that. Then we have this beautiful, this is in the winter catalog. This is the iridescent trim. And it goes perfectly with this vellum. So I'm just going to wrap that around the front of the card and I'm just going to tie it into a nice bow. I'm just going to bring my tweezers in. I'm just going to play with that a little bit. Just like that. I'm going to cut my tails. Love this stuff. And you get a pretty good size roll of it. I think it's like 10 yards. Can't. I need to get new glasses. I cannot see. Yep, it is 10 yards. Okay, so you do get quite a bit of that. All right, next up I have a scrap of the Tahitian Tide and a scrap of Basic White. Tahitian Tide, I am going to punch out with this decorative circle punch. So I'm just going to pop out that little piece right there. The Basic White, we are going to stamp our sentiment which is Tidings of Comfort and Joy, and I'm using the Tahitian Tide ink pad. Oh, thank you for sharing, Kay. I do appreciate that. Now, this week I decided to do something just a little bit different. So for anyone who places a minimum $35 order using this month's host code between now and Saturday of next week, the 20, I think it's the 29th, um, 
I am going to send you the card kits to make these cards. Here's the host code for the month. It's the PGTN9NS9. I also linked the stamp set and the vellum in the description of this video with that host code attached. So in case anybody wants those, um, you can just click on it and it will automatically give you the host code attached to it. Um, but yeah, so spend the $35 and I will send you in addition to what you're going to get in your goodie bag there. You're going to get the kits to make these cards. I mean, obviously you'll need a sentiment set, but any sentiments will work for sure. It doesn't have to be the exact sentiments I'm using. I'm using here the Stylish Shapes dies, and I'm using the number three circle die. Let's just make sure that doesn't move. Bring in our baby boss. And if your order ends up being $50, in addition to the card kit, you'll also get an embellishment added to your mailing of the kit. So, okay, so there's our pretty sentiment. Add just a little seal plus, and then we're going to back that onto that Tahitian tie, and then of course, dimensionals. Wow, these dimensionals are sticking to my fingers really well. Okay, there we go. Then that's going to just go over that like so. And then I wanted coordinating gemstones, but we don't have Tahitian tied gemstones. We do have Tahitian tied enamel dots. But I wanted more of that translucent look. So I decided to grab my basic rhinestones and my dark Tahitian Tide Stampin' Blend. Oh, no worries, Lori. Glad you could make it. So I just took my brush tip end and now you want to be careful you don't want to do this a lot with your brush tips because it will after a while ruin them um but once in a while when you want that different color go ahead and i'm doing one of each of the sizes this is like three different sizes and i'm doing one of each Like I said, just make sure you're using the side of your marker and you don't do it a lot. You'll be fine. All right. And then I'm just going to bring my take your pick tool. I'm going to put the largest one up here. And then the smaller of the two down here. And that finishes card number one, quick and easy. But look how pretty that is with that flocked. Vellum. Okay, so that's card one. Next we're gonna do is our little fun fold here in this one again very simple to do and I'll show you how we did it so I have here a card base in starry sky 
and I have it, it's 11 by four and a quarter squared at five and a half. So we're gonna go ahead and fold that and press it out. Now, I need to cut away a section of this card base because I wanna be left with a two and three quarter inch piece here. So I'm gonna go ahead and bring in my cutting tool and I'm gonna line this up at two and three quarters because I want two and three quarters left behind. So I'm gonna put that down here and I'm going to cut up to the score line here. Then I can put the score line right there and there we go. We cut that away. So now you just have an extra scrap piece that you can put in your scrap pile. And we have our card base right here just like so. Now, inside, I have cut a piece of basic white. This measures four by five and a quarter, and that's just going to line up on the inside in here like so. But before I adhere that, I'm just going to lay it down here just like that, and I'm going to bring in my Merry Christmas and I need my Starry Sky ink pad. And I ink. That. And we just want to get this. Eh, make sure we're trying to be straight. just like so. Get that out of the way. We don't have any catastrophes. So now we're all set with that. We can go ahead and adhere that to the inside of our card. Then for the flap, I have a piece of that vellum. Now this is the polka dot with the iridescent. And of course I have some more of that adhesive sheet here. All cut and ready to apply. And this piece of vellum does measure two and a half by five and a quarter. run our bone folder over that. Make sure we get all that adhesive sealed down. And then we're going to go ahead and peel this back. I hope you guys cannot hear what Tucker is doing. He's like digging a hole in the other room there. At least he's pretending to dig a hole, but he's making all sorts of noises while he's doing it, and they're not nice noises.
There we go. And seal that down just like so. And totally invisible adhesive. Next thing I have in here is one of our iridescent snowflakes. Now these are a carryover from last year. They disappeared for a little while and then they brought them back in our new mini catalog. But these come in, what did I do with that package over here? They are. They come in a package of 24 sheets. You get these, they're called Wonderful Snowflakes. And they are sandwiched between tissue paper here. So here's some of that tissue paper. And they're really pretty. They come six to a sheet. And you just pop them out. They're already die cut. And the genius part is, do you see that center? Does that center look familiar to you? Our dimensionals fit perfectly on there. So if I can find what I just did with my dimensionals. There they are. It's the exact same shape, so they hide perfectly on here. So you just have to Line it up in there, just like that. And then this is gonna go right there like so. And that right there is, that's it. Card number two is done. And look how pretty that is. I don't know if you can see that iridescent. So these cards are whipping by. We're already on to card number three. We'll be ready to roll for our challenge in no time. Okay, card number three. That one is this one here, Emmanuel, God with us. And again, this time we're using the vellum as our card base. So we're using the iridescent, beautiful color here. Let me get all my pieces. Oop, I'm missing. Where's my little piece? There it is. Oh, goodness gracious. Okay, got all our pieces here, I think. Okay, so I, starting with a piece of that gorgeous vellum with the iridescent snowflakes, and this measures 12 inches by four inches. So we're gonna bring in our tool here, cutting tool, and we are going to score this at five and a half. We're going to do five and a half and make sure you give it a good score. And then we're going to back it up or all the way out here to the one inch and we're going to score it again at one inch. The iridescence is gorgeous. I do have to agree with you wholeheartedly there. Okay. So now we have our score lines. We're going to go ahead and fold on that. Now with vellum, you want to be a little careful just because it's a little bit heavier than our cardstock. So it does not always want to fold cooperatively. Let's put it that way. And sometimes you do have to, well, that one folded pretty good. All right. And now we're going to fold back on this here score line. 
And again, just take your time to make sure that you're on the score. Otherwise, it might not be nice and straight. Okay. Now, this back side, you do see kind of that silvery look. So, it still has a cool look when you fold it back on itself like that. All right. Next up, let's see. We have this piece. This piece and this piece. Okay. And then this. All right. So I have another piece of that adhesive sheet. And this one's just a little skinny piece. And it's just going to lay down in here like so. So we can adhere that down. And it's going to come up in a couple pieces here. Peel it up. Okay. For the inside, I did, and I went ahead and pre-cut this because I didn't realize how quickly these cards were going to go. Um, so I did cut this out ahead of time. This is from the contours and scallops dies. I did the third, I think it was the third. No, it's the second pan, um, rectangle. And I did cut some adhesive sheet for this as well. So we're going to go ahead and adhere this down with this. And I cut these to fit right inside that stitching. So it wouldn't interfere with our scallops. So again. Not to stick that down before I'm ready. So we want that to be centered in here. There we go. And that gives your vellum a little more stability. All right. Next, I have a scrap of the basic white. And I have my stamp that says... Emmanuel, God with us, which I think is absolutely gorgeous. I love the font that they did this in. And of course, it's a beautiful sentiment anyway. So we're just going to, on our scrap. And baby boss. Now, this die comes from our stylish shapes. It is the largest banner die here. So we're going to go ahead. This die cut out. Oop. All right, let's try putting it on the plate that we're going to actually cut it out on. 
and maybe we can get it to stay straight. There we go. Top plate. And run it through. Not exactly perfect, but it's good enough. All right, so now I'm just going to run a little bit of adhesive along that back. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that, Sherry. Uh, those adhesive sheets are definitely a handy dandy, let me tell you. I got to get more, actually. I've used up a lot of mine. I'm down to my last sheet, actually. They come 6 by 12, I believe it is. All right, so we're just going to run this. And this is just a little half-inch strip of the Starry Sky that I cut, and then I just cut the ends at a little bit of an angle and now I'm just going to add some dimensionals actually no I did not use dimensionals I'm lying because the dimensionals will actually show did not do that I used just a strip of snail cell yeah seal plus and then we're just gonna put this right up out there and that is our Emmanuel God with us card. That's up. I will say I did have fun playing with this. I love this vellum. Both the iridescent and the flocking. And I have two more cards I wanted to share with you that will be on my blog this week. So here's the three cards we made tonight. And then I have two extras that will be on the blog. So I have God's blessing to you. That's in Pacific Point. And again, using that flocked. And then I use the flocked polka dot here for with love and hope. Deb loves number three. Betty likes them all, I think. <laughs> Thank you, ladies. Oh, thanks, Sue. And Nancy. So again, here's the host code if anybody is interested in placing an order. Again, $35 will get you the kit to make two of this one, two of the Emmanuel God with us, and two of the Merry Christmas. Now, your kits obviously won't have any stamping, so you'll have to use whatever sentiments you happen to have. Um, but I'm sure you have lots of Christmas sentiments that would work perfectly with these, but you will get the pre-cut vellum, the pre-cut cards, 
in the snowflakes. I'll include the ribbon. So you'll just have to come up with your own sentiments to add to them. That's all. So $35, you will get enough cards, kits to make six cards total. And if it's $50, I'll kick in an embellishment to go with it as well. You just got to use this host code here on your screen. Okay, next up, I think it's time. Oh, I'm crooked. What did I do here? Whew. Anyway, we have dice to roll. There they are. Thank you, ladies. I'm so glad you enjoyed those cards. I'm going to mix these all up. Week we have to roll one at a time. So we have a new challenge coming up. Embossing. That's one element. Subtles. Masculine. Oh, Tucker is looking most <laughs> I think I hurt his feelings. When I made him go lay down and monochromatic. So, for those of you that would like to participate in the challenge over on the VIP, we have monochromatic, subtles, embossing, punches, and masculine. If only I could show you how pitiful he looks over there on the love seat. <laughs> He's such a little monkey dog. <laughs> but anyway, I want to thank you ladies so much for coming to hang out with me. I am so glad that you enjoyed these cards. Um, and again, like I said, I would love to send some card kits out to you um, so that you can make your own, again, with your own sentiments. Um, but there will be enough to make all three packs um cards two of each for a total of six cards um for a 35 dollar order um again that host code is in the description of the video as well as links to the product that i used um if you have any questions please don't hesitate to ask i'm here to help in any way that i can oh thank you so much Kay. i'm so glad that makes me so happy it makes it all worth it All right, ladies, I wish you all a great rest of your evening. Go enjoy the rest of your night with your family, and uh, hopefully you can get crafty. And uh, I hope you have a most amazing week ahead. Bye for now.